Right, I've been asked to just help with the drawing of this, uh, this development drawing. The part that seems to stump a lot of people is just taking that information and drawing it. Um, to be able to do the development, they obviously want you to be able to do the constructions over here. Okay, drawing the uh, hexagonal part, I don't think that you'll have too much issues with that, uh, or too many issues at least. Uh, they tell you that you've got a side length of your hexagon of 20 millimeters. Uh, so I set my pair of compasses to a side length of 20 millimeters. I'll just show that to you. There we go, set it to 20. And I can draw a circumscribed circle going around like that. Once I've got that in place, I can take that center line going across the center over there, and I can link in a line going at 60 degrees over there from that intersection of the center line and the circle. Same story over here, center line and circle. Draw a line going at 60 degrees there. Swing that round, draw a line going from that intersection up there at 60 degrees. Same story over there, 60 degrees up there. And draw that line in horizontal and that line in horizontal giving you your hexagon. Once you've done that, you measure off about 20 millimeters over there, draw in your base. You can draw that side in, that side in, that side in. You'll note that I didn't draw that side in. The reason being is that I've got that branch pipe intersecting in over there. Right, in order to draw that branch pipe, they've given you a measurement of um, 30 millimeters going up there uh, to where that center line goes through. Let me just show you that to you. So 30 millimeters going up to a point over there where that line is, is intersecting. Um, I've got that in, I've drawn a center line going out there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle over here. Uh, this little circle has a radius of 10 millimeters. Okay, and you'll see why I've got that radius of 10 millimeters. If I've got a circle with a radius of 10 millimeters, it means that I've got a diameter of 20. It tells me that the length of the side of the square is 20 millimeters. All right, how do I do the do the, uh, the little square. Well, you can see that that's going out at that 30 degrees over there. I'm going to pull that back. It's still lined up on my, my T-square. I'm going to take my 45 degree set square, place that on top of the, the um, uh, 30 degree set square, and I'm going to draw in a line going like that out there. And I'm going to draw a line going like this out here. You can see the two sides of my square there. I can now come over here, draw a line as a tangent to the circle going out there. And a line going as a tangent to the circle going out over here. And there we go, we've got our little square in place. Right, once I've got that in place, same story over here. Take a line out, okay. Um, I'm going to draw another little square over there. Right, whoops. There's my pair of compasses. I'm just going to take that same 10 millimeter radius, pop it over here, draw in my square, I mean my circle, draw lines at tangents to the sides of the square, of the circle. There we go, there we go, and there we go. There are your two squares. Once you've got those in place, you can then take that information back onto your drawing. There we go, taking that back. There we go, taking that back, and we can then draw that line going in there. We can take a line going from there to there. That is 15 millimeters across, dropping it down onto that point. Draw that in there. We can draw that in there. And that can be drawn in can take lines coming across over here from these points, from that little square over there, take that across. My point, my number one point is up there. I'm 
number two and number four is over there. And number three is over there. Sorry, number one, two, three, four. There we go. And I can now draw in that story over there. 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 And there. And I can draw a line going right the way from there to there. Right the way from that point all the way through. Remember, it's a hollow pipe. And a line going from there to there. Those are the given views drawn. And then you can label them as we do in the next video. Cool.